so I'm here doing another deer hunt today my brothers and I we are with my uncle he hasn't got deer yet so we are tagging along with him trying to spot one for him uh, he has not gotten a blacktail yet ever in his life so I'm trying to find one for him he is fine with any legal buck so the first buck that we spot we might take him but right now we are just classing some open hill faces I'm overlooking a bowl and then there's a burn area to our right on top of the ridge then some clear hill faces to the left of the ridge so we are just slowly picking apart the country and maybe we'll pick a buck out Well, the fog rolled through and then it is starting to sprinkle now so threw up the tarp and then we also started a fire since it is getting a little bit chilly right now so just trying to glass some area that we could and hopefully the fog will lift up and we can class further but right now everything that's further away can't really see only see stuff close by so not sure we could pick up anything right now Well, we decided to go and check out a new area. The glass out that we were on just got too foggy. Can't really glass or anything. We will have like a clear window here and there, but just not what we liked. So packed up everything uh, left and then we'll just check out some new area. So hopefully those uh, area will produce something but staying here is just gonna be a gamble because I'm not really sure when the fog is gonna lift so yeah we're moving out now Alright, so after this morning we got fogged in. Now we are just classing a clear cut in. My brother just spotted a buck. I'm not sure how big he is, but he just saw the head with some antlers. So right now we are just trying to pick apart how big he is and where he's at. And maybe, maybe we'll make a move on him.
So my brother and my uncle went to stalk the other buck and we side across around a bit and spotted another buck bedded right in the open. These brush grass and weed are so tall that this bed right in, you can barely see it. This one's a little smaller, but my uncle said he's willing to take any buck. I just wait for them to come back. Huh? Buck's still here. But my brother uncle are nowhere to be seen. I'm pretty sure there's another deer with this little tiny buck. But we'll see. We'll just keep an eye on him until our brother and uncle comes back. He's bed right now but I'm perfectly perfect stock too. Alright, so we made a stock on that two by three. Oh I'm just talking. Yeah. Yeah yeah we, we could walk up here. No what's that? Alright, my uncle and I we made a stock on a two by three. Alright, so my uncle and I we made a stock on a two by three but when we were classing moved down to a ditch so we didn't get any more visual on him so uh we just sort of hurried down there trying to peek over those little rise those little hills and couldn't pick him up so i peeked over and then he was already looking at us i got down told him that it was right there i think the buck was just about 50 or 60 yards away but he got spooked and bounded off so we try to chase after him before he makes it to the tree line However, he was gone, so came back uphill and my brother spotted a two point. There might be another another one with him, I'm not sure because he is looking to the right, but right now we're just making a stock of him, so he is bedded, so it's gonna give us a lot of time to make a stock on like the other one. Hopefully, we get this one down. We are less than. 300 yards away maybe gonna peek over this little rise in the timber maybe we'll pick him up not sure if we're gonna shoot it through the timber or go down this close off road and uh, shoot from there but the grass might be a little bit tall on the side of the road so I shoot from the top of the hill you see that dirt road having a hard time picking him out i think we are less than 200 right now but he has a hard time picking him out it is his first time spot stocking glassing for deer so uh, i'm about to go down a little bit and show him where the deer is out the viewfinder so we'll see what happens the deer is just better right now so i'm not sure if we're gonna shoot him better or wait for him to stand up but we'll see in a bit hey you see uh Look for this tree. Okay, you can be around the yellow grass. Look for the tree that's like right next to it. I see it right there. Yeah. And then just just look at that and then then just focus on that and then the deer should be like to the right on that. Just move your eyes, don't move your hand. Okay, I see. You see him? Yeah. Alright. That's pretty far. That's two hundred yours. Yeah, it should be what's money. Huh? What eight? That's money dude. That's money. I'm just put it right on. Yeah, just put it right on. Just zoom in, max. Yeah, I'll, I'll come with zero at 200, so just put it right on. Put it like uh, on the shoulder right there. Okay. That's right. Okay. Here, right? Yeah. 
to your left, to your right, here. Switch from up. Squeeze up. Check the trigger. Move. Don't check the trigger. Okay. Once you see it, zoom in all the way to 20 percent. Remember to squeeze your eye. Put it uh, like around the shoulder or something. Tell someone about you, right? Oh, move, move your head. It's gonna kick. Oh yeah, thank you. Where's Blanks over Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said to uh, put your hat back. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> well, my uncle just shot that box off. They're gonna go and uh, get their packs. And uh, I'm just gonna wait here since my packs are here. And then uh, they'll regroup my other brother, uh, my other brother, and then uh, Get all the gear and then we're gonna go and uh, check this guy out. My uncle's first black tail. Uh, worked hard today. Went to a first spot this morning. Uh, got fogged out a lot. So uh, there were a lot of signs. Uh, a lot of good signs. Uh, the hell faces were good, but we were just getting constantly fogged out. So we just decided to back out at 10. Uh, kind of just drove around the unit looking for spots to uh, in class. Um, a secondary spot. There were some people uh, target practicing or sh uh, just shooting around. So we decided to back out of that spot. Came here as a last resort for the night. Um, spotted uh, a, a buck. Uh, probably about 20 minutes into a lasting session. Um, my brother and my uncle made a stock on that one. Unfortunately, that one got away. Um, and as they were uh, making a stock of that one, I just happened to spot this guy over here all alone. So we made a stock over here, got to 189 yards. He laid a hammer on him, oh, his first black tail. Yeah. Not, not the biggest, but you know, first one is always the best. Three by two. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Got that little, uh, <laughs> little eye guard right there. Yeah. Nice. So right here. Yeah. Super excited. Thank you.
All right, so we just got done butchering the bug. Now I'm just walking on the trail. To, uh, try to get back to the truck and then head home. Uh, not the biggest bug in the world, but it is his first black tail ever. He's been trying for many years now. Been hitting it hard this season, so he just contacted us, uh, asked us to help him. And yeah, we got one down. Unfortunately, we didn't get the first one. The first one was just a little bit bigger, a little two by three. Uh, maybe the same age group, but uh, just have just a little bit more point. Uh, one point bigger, but they still all do taste the same. Uh, for this one, we're just gonna give him all the meat. Uh, our freezer is uh, filled already, so yeah. Got him his first black tail, and now on to the next one. We might be doing late archery, I mean, late season elk. And then I do have my late season archery for black tail too, so we'll see what happens. We'll see you all in the next one.